hi and welcome to the rave tv i'm ali here with mac miller hello welcome back thank you how have you been good good <laughs> <laughs> this is your third sold out ballroom show here isn't that crazy yeah it is and it's the third time that you've played here it's ridiculous i know the f i remember the first time we uh the first time i played here we initially correct me if i'm wrong but we initially i think booked one of the smaller rooms and then moved it up right and yeah. then we then we sold it out that's twelve thousand. Twelve hundred. No, no, I'm saying if isn't it isn't the big one four thousand? Yeah. People? So yeah, three times four thousand. Oh yes, yes, yes. I know a little math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're currently out on the space migration tour. Yeah. How has that been going so far? It's amazing. This yeah. is, I think this is my favorite tour I've ever had. Yeah. And hands down. Yeah. It's just like the group of people we have touring is is incredible, and the and this show is is great to watch from from the first act until me. My show's really long too, <laughs> so like <laughs> usually people leave before I'm done because they perform for like three hours. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow, you got a long set. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um. So your new record is watching movies with the sound off. Yeah. And it came out on June eighteenth. Um, how do you feel you've progressed as an artist with the release of this record? Um, I don't know. I mean, I would say that it's just the same thing of, uh, of just, you know, getting a little older. I think that I, I'm just a little more comfortable with myself and with, uh, my life and what I do and have a more of a handle on things. And so I'm feel more free to try different things in music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about um, Mac Miller and the Most Dope Family. Yeah. Um, how did I mean that's a reality show? How did you how did you get that together to start that? Um, well, MTV reached out and they wanted to do a show. Um, reality shows. I don't know. I mean, I'm not. It's not like that's my favorite thing, but you know, we have fun with it. Yeah. It's cool. We're doing another season. Um, it was successful. But yeah, it's crazy. People seem to like it. People watch it. Um, so can't be mad at it. Is it weird having cameras follow you around all the time? Yeah, yeah. it's horrible. <laughs> it is. But Are they just there literally all the time? Yeah, 12 to 12. Oh, wow. And it's, uh, well, some days it's like, it's like anything, like, if you're having a good day, it's, you know, it's fine, you know, but when you're having a bad day, it's like... Yeah the worst <laughs> but it's cool because you develop like a relationship with all the people that live there and you know they're basically living in your garage <laughs> and yeah the only thing that gets annoying is like when you like say i go downstairs and i'm like not to like give away the reality tv show secrets <laughs> it's like go downstairs and it's like hey man could i get uh some milk like, uh, oh, could you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, and tell me about Larry Lovestein. Who is he? Um, so basically, like, um, I, I enjoy, like, creating these different characters because what I feel like is that they, you know, at first I thought I wanted to be, like, these secret, you know, things that no one knows about, mm -hmm. but... Um, I, I realized that basically each one of these characters that I create represents like a part of me that gets emphasized through them. Like, mm -hmm. so Larry Lovestein represents like the soft, rom hopeless, romantic side of me that nobody knows about. <laughs> and then, so then you just kind of take that character, you take that emotion that lives in you and you create a whole character and give it a whole backstory. And I just love, you know, I love all different kinds of music and making it, so... Mm -hmm trying to do some Walt Disney type stuff and just create oh, really? characters. Yeah. Do you have any other characters? Yeah, I got a few that are that are being brewed up. I got uh three other projects that I oh, that really? I made um that I haven't released yet. Um yeah, one of one of them is a band from the 70s. <laughs> one of them is uh a psychopathic, demented weirdo. <laughs> it's a bunch of different people, but it's just yeah. like, it's. I think it's kind of like therapeutic to just like say things. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like when you are Mac Miller, there's all the stuff that goes with it. Like, yeah. oh, I can't say this. I'm Mac Miller. 
So like you just <laughs> create these characters and and then you can say it. You can say whatever <laughs> you want. Uh, and this week you released a new music video for I Am Who I Am. Um and tell me tell me about making that. It looked like a very interesting video. Yeah, um it was. Um so Ian you know came to me and, s- and said, you know, cuz I d- I have a record on the album called The Star Room. Mm-hmm. Um so you know, Ian kind of showed me visually how he wanted to build a star room. Um, and it's like mirrors and all these lights and water on the ground. And, and I'm standing on this little platform in water. And it the mirror is allowed to appear to be like infinity. Yeah. Um, but the filming process was interesting. They, you know, we, uh, um, a lot of this album deals with seclusion. So they actually took this it's like an eight by eight box and they actually drilled it shut with me inside there's no doors there's no way out there's i can't see anything it's hot as hell in there (laughs) um um and it's two-way mirrors so they shot through the mirrors so i couldn't see where the camera was i couldn't see which kind of gives the feeling of like paranoia of like people watching you so but you don't know where they are you know like when you're making a music video it's easy because like say there's the camera right there it's easy to like look in the camera and (laughs) do all the like the rat faces and stuff but um yeah so with that it was just a little different you just had no idea what was going on and they just kept playing the song and could only talk to me through walkie talkie but then i kept smoking cigarettes in it which made it like (laughs) gross (laughs) yeah that seems like a difficult video to film. In yeah, a way. it was because we um like we 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 shot uh that watching movies uh and some other stuff mm-hmm. in the span of three days, um while I was also doing rehearsals for tour. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I actually stayed up for four days straight with no sleep. Yikes. Which was bad. I bet. <laughs> but I mean, but it kind of like, it represents, you know, part of like the state of delirium that a lot of this music was made in. So there you go. Cool. Yeah. So after this tour finishes up, what's next for Mac Miller? Um, Europe. Oh, really? Yeah, with Wayne. We're going to Europe. I'm doing some other things. Ooh, and then I got this vacation in Hawaii. That's all I care about Are you right excited now. excited for that? Got this block set up because I haven't I haven't really taken any days off since I finished Blue Slide Park. Oh wow! It's like the last time I really like took days off because I mean I, I haven't toured for a while, but like I was shooting the show, I was making this album, blah, blah, blah. but I want to like throw my phone away and computer and yeah. Twitter and all those unnecessary items and parts of life and just go lay on a beach and drink a whatever people would drink <laughs> out there, coconut, something. I don't know. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us before your third sold-out ballroom show tonight. Thank you. Have a great show. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for watching the Rave TV. Be sure to check out Mac Miller's current record, uh, Watching Movies with the Sound Off. We'll see you soon on the Rave TV. Shout out DJ Clockwork. <laughs>